Hello everyone, my name is Pritam and you're watching Tech with Pri. Welcome to my channel and I'm back with another tech video. Now this is the seventh video of this tutorial series called Cloud Computing with Microsoft Azure. Now in my last video, I have discussed about the Azure Cloud Shell. Uh, we came to know the importance of Cloud Shell, why we need to learn a bit of scripting. And also I've shown you how you can use PowerShell and Bash uh, with few commands, right? So if you missed that video, guys, I would suggest you to go and check the video because that's very important to clear the concept of Cloud Shell. Uh, we are going to use uh, Cloud Shell or PowerShell commands in different videos to like, like I said, like we are, our target is to learn in both the way, the PowerShell and also in the Azure portal. Right. So uh, the link would be provided in the description and also you can find the link right now here in your screen. All right. So today we are going to quickly create our first virtual machine, guys, and we will deploy it. And once the deployment is done, you'd be able to see all the components of the virtual machine that are available. And in the next video, we will go much deeper and we'll take the remote of the virtual machine. We are going to uh, quickly test it. All right, and also uh, we will create the same virtual machine. I mean, same kind of virtual machine in the PowerShell. We'll see if it works or not. Now, uh, let's not waste any time. Let's go to the portal and create our first virtual machine. Okay, I'm in Google now, and you all know the address of the portal. Here we go. We are in the portal.azure.com now. And now, uh, let me close this. Uh, okay, now to create a virtual machine, you can start in many way. Like you can see there in under the Azure services, you have virtual machine. You can search for virtual machine by going here. And also in the left hand side, you can find the virtual machine in the favorite section. So you can choose any of this option. Okay, let me click on this virtual machine icon and go to the virtual machine. Now here probably you'd find nothing because this is the virtual machine I have created. Like I mentioned, like this is for the, uh, to show you the dashboard thing, right? So I have created that and it is still there. However, I stopped the virtual machine. You can see the status stop. Uh, we'll discuss about it uh, later when we'll more explore about the virtual machine things, right? Now here, uh, before clicking on create and start our creating new virtual machine, a few of the topics that is very important and that uh, you need to understand. Uh, like for example, the availability zone, Azure region, Azure geography, and data center. So all about this. So what I've decided is that like today we only focus on creating virtual machine. Okay, we are gonna choose all this option as default as it is. All right. In the next video, I will discuss about the region and the data centers. Uh, availability zone, availability set, update domain, fault domains, all this concept I'm going to clear in the next video because if I want to merge in the same video today, so I mean the video size would be bigger, right? So let's go and click on create and here I will choose virtual machine. Okay, so this is the tab that is open that is for creating the virtual machine. Uh, just give me a second. All right. Now here, uh, first it is asking for the subscription. So it's the free trial. Okay. Now before creating that, so what is a virtual machine? So a virtual machine is nothing but a machine. I mean, like it's a virtual. So a virtual machine will be created for you in one of the Azure data center. Uh, it will be located in a location and um, about data center and all these things, like I said, I will discuss it uh, in the next video, but just to clear your concept, we are going to tell Azure what we need, uh, what is the RAM, what is the size of CPU core, uh, what we are looking for, and what is the disk size, everything, and Azure will give us the virtual machine. Now, uh, if you want to know more about virtual machine and virtualization, so already I have uploaded a video in my previous playlist under the Windows Server 2016. So that probably the second or third video it would be virtual machine and virtualization. I'd request you to clear your concept if you want to know more about it. All right. Uh, I'm going to post the link in the description, guys. You can check it out from there. Now let's go back. Now resource group. Now it is very important resource group because uh, in Azure, a resource group means like a container or a box. 
so whichever resource you are going to deploy like for an example i'm doing right now virtual machine it can be azure kubernetes service it can be app service it can be a simple storage account or virtual network anything whatever resource you want to launch uh, in that case you need to put them in a resource group it has to be part of a resource group right because i mean it's also easy right uh, like for example i'm going to create a resource group now where i'm going to test this virtual machine and once i'll create the virtual machine you will see it will have many things like virtual network ip address all these things will be created and everything will be stored in that particular resource group once my testing is done i'm going to delete this resource group and all these resources which are there under the resource group including virtual machine everything will be deleted so i don't need to go manually and delete each and every components or each and every resource that uh, will create while i will create the virtual machine i can directly delete the resource group all will be deleted so it is a organized way we can manage right so i'm going to click on create new because we don't have any and let's give it a name testing testing uh, vm vm for virtual machine and it's a right sign means it is okay you can use that uh, let's quickly give a name of the virtual machine i'm gonna give uh, maybe vm01 just for the testing purpose and now uh, we have region availability options now these two options uh, we will discuss in the next video as i mentioned we have to i have to explain you a lot before uh, to choosing a proper option for the time being just understand region means uh, you can see it's us and also we have different different region so that means the virtual machine which you're creating that would be there in one of the data center which is available in the east us for the time being that's fine all right but don't worry i will again explain it in the next video in in detail okay skip the availability options and we have the image now uh, from image option you can choose any of the operating system which you want to use for your virtual machine right so i'm gonna use the windows server 2016 you can see there are many server operating system is there like ubuntu server 18.4 20.4 windows server 2019 also we have you can use that okay and there are many more actually so you can just go and uh, you know you can explore it by your own because there would be many things <laughs> to cover now let it be on windows server 2016 and now next we have to put the size of the virtual machine which is uh, i mean which size we are going to go now here uh, something we need to know like for an example there would be many versions uh, that are available for the virtual machine size now size means we are going to define the virtual cpu and the ram specially like for an example if you see this one ds1 v2 this is a this is a version of virtual machine you can say from azure uh, so here we are going to get one so if we choose this one we are going to get the one virtual cpu 3.5 gb ram four data disk uh 3200 uh, this is the iops and we are going to get 7 gb of temporary storage and it will cost us 6626.72 rupees uh that is per month cost per month you can check so if i choose the first option and if we continue use for the uh, one month then it would cost me 6600 uh, 26 uh, we can use that i mean we have 14000 you can see uh, remaining balance of 13000 you can use but why should i uh, just for testing purpose open a virtual machine and keep running it right for a month right we are not going to do that and again like when i will discuss about the azure subscription in a different video i will let you know how you can manage that so for the time being let's choose one of them uh, I can choose anything so like you can see uh, after a month overs it will charge this rupees but uh, the daily it will deduct from the you know based on the hour uh, and we will see what is the hour price of this 6626 so let's choose the fast one and you can also explore the different different option which is available here uh, there are many actually so you can choose any any number of CPU or any number of RAM <clears throat> as per your requirement and uh, there would be many series like b f d e you can see right you will just choose what is the number of cpu or number of things you want and rest of the things will be done by azure right sounds good so let's continue with ds1 v2 
done now uh, you know that uh, if you are installing a server you need to provide a username and password it could be anything so we'll just put something and you need to type the password and also need to configure it i mean confirm it so once done uh, there is a port again like a port and inbound rule all these things i will cover in the network section we'll discuss more about it but for the time being just know that if you select if you select the inbound ports at rdp you'd be able to take remote in the virtual machine and that's what we are going to do so we need to take remote in the virtual machine so i will just keep open this rdp port and i will go to the next disk section now under the disk you can choose any of the disk like for an example premium ssd standard and standard hdd all these things are there uh, azure recommend the premium ssd so ssd means you know the solid state drive and you can see a uh, best for production and performance sensitive workload standard ssd just for web servers lightly used things uh, let's choose the premium ssd uh, let's choose the encryption type default and we don't have any data disk we can't attach it if you have any you can attach uh what is there in the adverse section it's fine no need to go to the advanced i will just move to the networking again networking things will be covered in a separate video now we do not have any virtual network again like this is the network you are setting for your own virtual machine uh, I don't want to discuss it much here because that would be a very vast thing and we'll discuss in a separate video. So by default Azure, whatever Azure is providing, let's just keep it there. Again, uh, let's go to the management. Let's see what we have here. We have some boot diagnostics, like if you want to see your virtual machine statistics, all kind of things, uh, you can, I mean, you can use it, but uh, for the time being, I don't want. Under advanced tag, uh, again, we are not gonna do anything here uh, that's especially for the extension to install anything you want uh, you know like your server when the server will run any applications if you want to install or something you can do that uh, again like that would be totally for a different video tags you can use just to remember like uh, what is the purpose you are using for uh, just to remember this so it's not mandatory uh, we'll just go to the review and create last tab and here you will see all the things that you have configured all right and you can see this virtual machine is going to cost me this image is going to cost me nine rupees per hour so we have seen it was like six thousand something uh, over a year over a month and that means like it's 9.077 inr per hour so if you just create this virtual machine and you know just be there for one hour it would cost you nine rupees and I'll just hit on create and now the virtual machine will create in a short time okay so it just took two minutes guys and you can see our virtual machine is ready your deployment is complete uh, this page will load automatically and also in the notification center you can see the deployment succeeded and you can go to the resources and this is our virtual machine which is created which is by default it start and these are the options like these are the public ip address all these things virtual network again we'll discuss so this is just a quick uh, you know like quick overview of creating virtual machine guys and uh, as for the time limit i won't be able to show you how to uh, take remote on this but definitely in the next video uh, i will show you how you can check rdp in this same virtual machine vm01 it would be there and also we'll discuss about the different terminology of azure things like regions data center all these things availability zone like i said and also in the next video we are going to create azure virtual machine with the help of the powershell okay this is it for today guys and uh, we have created our first virtual machine i know many things that are remaining to learn but we will go slowly and steadily don't worry okay so if you find it helpful guys please hit the like button any doubt any question come to the comment section and also share this video with your friends and family so that it can reach out to many people thank you have a great time bye bye